What's up everyone, it's Jim and today I thought I'd be starting off my next, next project for the uh, Mosquito Con of 2014. It's going to be in April as all get out, or should I say, should be exciting. And it's held every year in Wayne, New Jersey. But before I continue on with that, but before I show off what I got, I just want to show off what I have done so far. I've already cloth coated this. I'm just going to apply the decals next. And then I'm going to color the base as well as you can see. Pre uh, prime it, of course. And then uh, when that's all done, flat coat everything. I'm good. But that's not what I was going for this video. For this video, I'm going to show off, show off what I'm going to do. My next kit is going to be the Gear Doka. And I think you probably also consider this as a uh, build off with Simon and the others. I don't know. If you guys want me to be a part of this as well, why not? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, I originally had a thought with this kit that I was going to replace all the energy cables, but I won't have the time to do it. Uh, I'm going to keep the energy cables, but I'm going to repaint them. But, that doesn't mean uh, what else I can do with this kit. So, anyway, let's get to unboxing this little guy. And, oh wait. I actually had something else in there. You might remember this from my uh, other video. This is that chain gun that I've added. This is what I'm going to be using with this kit. And... There's it. I'm going to use this as well. So yeah, uh, Pretty much you got your manual. And your A play has gray parts with nice clear yellow uh, beam effects, which I love that beam saver. My a beam blade, that thing's just nasty looking. You got your clear parts, gray parts, and only red in the whole kit. Lots of fun. Come over to here, we got Two identical E plates, and you got your decals and stickers and whatnot. Then we got more. Uh, let's see, got all the parts in here, and green parts, and we got F1 and G plate, along with the C1 plate. When we come up here, we got each F2 and C2 plates here. Here's the D plate, the D1 plate, and polycaps are underneath there as well. And here's your D2 and I1 and I2 plates, and here's that rubbery J plates. So uh, yeah, I'm going to be actually painting this guy. Uh, before I even talk about paint the colors, I'm going to actually be se separating everything out uh, to how I want to color it. And my phone's being retarded. Uh, yeah, so pretty much... This is how what I'm going to do. Um, I am going to be painting this, of course. I'm going to do my own colors. Uh, but I'll have that in my next video for uh, colors. So Here's how all the parts look before being separated. Alright, so everything is now off the plates. Here's all the orange parts. Uh, I don't know about what I'm going to do with those missiles yet. 
But uh, here's all the parts I got separated. Uh, yeah. So uh, now the process of denubbing everything and figure out how to uh, like have everything set up. So I might build it in a frame just for reference, but uh, yeah. So here's what I got so far, and. <sighs> yeah, should be fun to denub everything. If you, if I sound different, I just woke up not too long ago, so and I was just like, "Yeah, let me do this." <laughs> so anyway, uh, let's continue on. All right, so I'm in the middle of actually putting everything together here, and let me just fix this camera angle. There we go. And I wanted to do a quick test. Just to show you. Okay, here's all the here's the instructions by the way. And, uh, where is it? Okay. Looks like the handle's right there. And if you're wondering what this is, this is actually a, uh, a gear system. Like one of those wind ups. To make the barrel spin all right. So. Think about these Kotobukiya kits. This is the way that they're, uh, the way the knobs are. They're a little bit different than what I'm used to. Well, let's just say that Bandai has a better, uh, control with their, uh, knobs on their kits. I'm just snipping it off camera here, but uh, there's as you can see, there's like little teeth in there. There's teeth there. I wonder if this would hold it. It's a little loose, but uh. Not too bad. There's also another set of hands down here. I'll find those another time. Uh, actually. Here we go. It's actually has a little, little tooth in there. Holds a little bit better actually. So I'm gonna use that instead. Let's take these notes off. Of course, it's going to be held by the hand, so I have a thumb there to hold it, so hopefully it'll uh, work out. There we go. That was a quick little test to see if it will hold it or not, but uh, time will only tell. Yeah, I'm 
as you can tell, I'm just still denoting you know things. But yeah, got maybe less or about a month left before a month or so before Mosquito Con, so I've really got to kick things off. Kick it up a notch, pretty much. <sighs> Let's see what else is going on nowadays. Uh, just finished watching uh, Gundam UK's results video, and I gotta say, everyone did a great job. I mean, especially uh, Justin and FIL. You guys did great. And the winners, they did an exceptional job as well. I mean, seriously, they did... Everyone did a great job. But, yeah. I really don't have much to say, except that I'm just building here. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, I also went back at my, uh... Actually, I'll show you really quick. A lot of people have already probably seen this on my Facebook. Okay, I'm going to show you what I, I was going to wait until my, uh, my paint part of this, but I might as well show you guys. I'm actually going to be doing this type of color scheme. I'm going to be uh, just on light grays and dark grays with orange accents. And I think it looks good. I did. I I had a little tweak to it, so there's gonna be a little bit of a color change in the final product. But hopefully, you guys will enjoy it. But yeah, some uh, Dino in here. And Strider, uh, I've been watching your videos lately on that uh, Zako making. Amazing. That looks like it's going to be a very good build or paint job. Whatever. But you already built it, so. But I really wish you uh, luck on your build. And I hope you like what I'm going to be coming out soon. And yes, all of this will fit into that when I'm done. So anyway, uh, let's continue on. <laughs> 